Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have a little special guest here, my best friend Katie. Hi! I'm Katie. So, this is a whole new platform for us. Um, mm. Tell me about yourself. I mean, I've done YouTube a little bit in the past, but never was like successful with it. Um, woo! I am also a beauty um, blogger, vlogger. Um, I do Facebook videos. Um, I'm also 27 years old. I have two kids. I've been married for seven years. I'm a mom and a wife and I do beauty. I like every platform. It's really all of it. I'll put all of her social media links in down below. Follow so me on TikTok. Follow her. Listen, she has just, just started TikTok what, or like, like late last two, year. Two months ago. Yeah. <clears throat> and she's already what? 7K? I'm almost 6K? at 10K. Oh, sorry. She's almost at 10K. Yeah. I'm really close to hitting 10K. <clears throat> I've been on TikTok for five years, and I've not even hit 3K yet. So what having boobs does for you. I'm just I kidding. Boobs. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Stop. Oh, so, we have been friends for a little over a Almost year. Almost two years. Almost two years. Yeah. So, makeup has brought us together. It's honestly, like, we were, like, immediate best friends almost. Like, it just seemed, like, quick. Yeah. Like, we were quickly super close. So, we're doing an assumptions and questions video while we do our makeup. And, uh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Let's jump right on in, honey. So we're going to both go in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. She's been wanting to try this. I've been yeah. gushing about this. It is so good, guys. I'm um, a super dry girl, uh, normally. Um, especially when I lived in Colorado, I had super, super dry skin. And uh, But since I've moved back to West Virginia, where it is constantly humid, um, I, it hasn't been as bad. But gonna... I'm pretty combo to oily, but guys, moisturize every day, either if you're oily or not. Yes. This bitch right here has taught me that. Mm -hmm. I've met her and I was busted, rough and busted. <laughs> <laughs> and she has taught me so many things. Now, we're gonna go ahead and do brows off camera real quick, so we'll be right back. We are back, guys. <laughs> brows are on. Brows are on and snatched to the guys. We're going to be um, answering questions as we do like our eyeshadow and the rest of our makeup. So I did use the Anastasia Dip Brow Shade Dark Brown for my eyebrows. I used the Pharmacy Design Brow Gel and then I just took some black eyeshadow and filled in what looked a little bit bald. <laughs> the first uh, thing that I got was an assumption. I told uh, um, my followers and his followers to um, send us either like assumptions or questions about our friendship. And the first assumption was, uh, I feel like y'all basically live together. <laughs> uh, we will in the future. But. Honestly, we probably see each other now. Once a week. Now. Since you've been working so I much. I work a lot. Yeah. But, no, I would I'm constantly begging him, like, well, do you just come over after work? I know you're not tired at all, but. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I stay tired. Yeah. And I would definitely... If they were cool with that, I'd definitely move with them. Adam's probably back here rolling his eyes. But. No, babe, you want Adam to move, <laughs> or you want Billy to move in? No. <laughs> babe, do you want uh, Billy to move in? Yeah, less bills. You said yeah, less bills. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Not not because you love him or anything, but just because yeah, less bills. Yeah, would, I, no one had don't loves moving in. I'll tell you that. Oh, that's the closest okay. you're gonna get to I, I love know. you. I know. <laughs> Oh, um, we're using literally just Lunar Beauty palettes only yeah, because are. who else exists, honestly? Um, literally all three of these palettes we're just dipping in. But I'm a huge Manium UA fan and I know Billy is too. Um, I use pretty much just Lunar Beauty anymore for eyeshadow especially. Um, yeah, so we're just dipping into a ton of Lunar hey, Beauty. Hey Manny, if you're watching this. Hi Manny, we love you. Thanks for the iPhone 11 Pro. Yeah, she won the giveaway all there in October. I, I won his Halloween uh, contest. Oh my god, that that was like one of the biggest moments of 2019 for me. Probably one of the only biggest. Well, no, that's a lie. I had a lot of ups and downs for sure. How was your 2019? Um, I worked a lot. Didn't really achieve anything. So. Um, I mean, I didn't. You did more than me. <laughs> so, 2019, very relaxed I feel like it was just too relaxed mm -hmm. didn't do much and this year I, I think I'm probably gonna cut for blood honestly like, content. <laughs> like we're gonna step this shit up we're gonna do I it need to bag off <laughs> just um 
2019 was literally just, if I could describe it in just a sentence to you, it was just a ton of highs and lows. I had really high highs and I had really low lows. And the Win and Manny's contest was a very high high. Like that was a, such a big deal to me. I had my very first makeup collab in 2019 and that was such a big moment for me. Um, I'm working on another, I've been working on one collab that I have for a year now. And hopefully we can get that out to you before spring. I, I was on a local, um, a local talk show here in West Virginia about makeup and that was really cool for me. And then like I've had a lot of really low lows. <laughs> I was miserable a lot. <laughs> My own mental health was awful. Was <laughs> um, do y'all have the same taste in guys? Just curious. No, we do not. Do we have the same taste in guys, Billy? I, so I, I feel like, <clears throat> honestly, it's probably like, I, I, yes and no kind of thing. You agree with a lot of guys that I think are hot, like gay guys. Yeah. I feel um, like you yeah. would agree that some of them are hot. Some of them. Uh, like, okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say this. I like guys who are like daddy. Kind of. Right. I same. like, I don't like same. skinny guys. I me like, either i like some meat <laughs> me too. um i love same. i just love masculinity me too i love it yeah oh yeah i mean so in a way we kind of do like the same <coughs> adam adam's back we here both are in love with adam <laughs> <laughs> stop you <He> said <laughs> pick one outfit including a makeup look to live the rest of your life in I'm honestly always like this. I, I will beat my face to the absolute highest capacity and have on sweatpants and a sweatshirt. Always. If it's summertime, I'm in booty shorts and a big old oversized t-shirt. Like, I am constantly dressing for comfort. So, if I had to pick one outfit to try and be stylish and yet cute and comfy at the same time, I would probably pick a pair of leggings, a pair of flip-flops, all black, the both those black. Um, t-shirt, probably like a vintage, baggy, distressed, bleached out band tee, and a denim jacket. To be comfortable, I would wear a nice, good pair of stretchy, um, skinny jeans. Mm -hmm. And just a regular tee. Really a plain color? Yeah. What color? It's like a gray. I'm very bland. I'm very bland. But then our makeup is not. Never bland. But actually, the look, the look I would pick is either like a black smoky eye and nude lip, big lashes, or just big lashes, neutral eyes, and like a nude lip. Best foundation that doesn't transfer. I think if you're wanting a foundation that's not going to transfer, you need to be more focused on your primer, your powder, and your setting spray. Honestly, the foundation I don't think is going to matter. Most definitely. So, uh, get you, um, a primer if you're really wanting to stay, get you something that will, uh, help the longevity or like a setting spray. I know the, uh, All Nighter from Urban Decay is really good for, uh, I love that. longevity. Actually out of it, so I need to get more. Or even like the Milani Make It Last is really oh, good. It's a drugstore version. Um, and then powder. Like make sure that you're really powdering your face if you want it to last. That's what I think. Most definitely. I agree. Powder. I love powder. Um, that's probably why I look so, like, dry. <laughs> I set my face so much with powder and setting spray, it's ridiculous. But I'll tell you what, my makeup does not move throughout the day. What's your favorite foundation? Like, what do you use the most? VFX uh, from Pharmacy, honestly. Before that, like, I, like before I tried the Pharmacy brand, um, I think it was the, um, Anastasia foundation, the mm -hmm. new one. Yeah, I really liked that one. But I honestly, too. I like Maybelline Matte and Poreless and uh, VFX uh, from Pharmacy, and then uh, the Anastasia is really good. Yeah, I agree. What are both of your favorite skincare routines? That's so funny. I have a skincare routine for the way that, just like the way my skin acts at that time. Um, I use a lot of Pixie Beauty skincare, um, mostly the Glow, the Glow Tonic. I love the Glow Tonic. It's so good. 
but mostly um i like to use ro like rose water with my skin because i have dry sensitive skin and i got like lots of like pink and redness um not as much right now because i've been using a lot of rose water but this is also uh from pharmacy dr c tuna pure rose line i use this all the time um i got the serum right here too but the moisturizer that i use with it of course is from pixie this is the uh rose that's what does it say ceramide ceramide cream yeah this is what i use for the moisturizer I am really basic, um, but I'm bougie as well. Um, with an exfoliator, I exfoliate my face probably one, once every two days, or three maybe, depends. I've been using the Tatcha uh, exfoliating. Um, he loves Tatcha. I love Tatcha. Um, and then I will go in for the really good moisturizer, which is usually going to be my Tatcha Dewy Skin Moisturizer. Mm -hmm. Really good. Um, I love... Uh Drunk Elephant a lot too. Drunk Elephant is really good. Alright, and if I'm not using Tatcha, I'm using um, the pharmacy brand. And they have a mask from the Aloe line mm -hmm. that I wear once every couple days. Um, and then they have a cream as well as a moisturizer. Really good. It's all natural, very affordable. If you could spend a day with any YouTuber, who would it be and why? Nanny. I knew it was coming. <laughs> uh, listen, if you're talking in the beauty world, it's definitely Manny. Any other YouTube, uh, it would, again, just in the YouTube community period, it would be Shane Dawson, 100%. Um, I've watched Shane Dawson for years, and I, I love him. He's the best. Yeah, so if I had to pick, it would be Shane or uh, Manny. Um, why? I just love them. <laughs> I don't know, I just love them. I love their personalities. I vibe with them, I feel. Like, I, I don't know. I've never met him or anything. I've talked to Manny a few times, but I don't, I mean, I've never met him. They just both seem really genuine for me. I know there's going to be somebody that's going to comment about Manny's drama or whatever, but I feel like he's genuinely changed. And don't you feel like? Yeah, he's, he's like definitely he's changed. Up. I feel like he's really grown up, and mm -hmm. I'm proud of him. But yeah. this is who I would meet. Who would you meet or want to hang out with? Um, I would say the same. Manny, he is... I have a, I have a crush on him. Yeah. He's so beautiful. <laughs> um, but definitely Manny, if not, you know, a beauty influencer. I would probably say Nikita Dragon. Okay. Nikita Dragon is a bad bitch. Yeah, she is. Love her. Um, also, I'd probably say Jeffree Star. <laughs> yeah, Jeffree would be crazy. Like, that would be such a, like, crazy moment to meet Jeffree Star. Not just because of the beauty world, but because he has literally worked his way from the bottom to the top. And, like, I don't know. He's he's just awesome he's all around. Yeah, iconic. For real. He's paved the way for a lot of people. Oh, yeah, yes. So has Nikki Tutorials. I feel like Nikki Tutorials is gotten so underrated over the past few years she really has her and Jaclyn Hill I feel and Patrick Starr have really paved the way for so many beauty influencers so what did you think about her coming out video that was amazing I was so shocked I wasn't Same. expecting that at all she had me fooled like I, I really would have never thought and um I'm, I'm super proud of her though. that's that's crazy I'm so glad she can finally come out with it and yeah. when she uploaded that I was like immediately I'm like well she can't be a lesbian because like she's, she's engaged, she's engaged to a guy. I bet she's so I was like, well, what's going on so I watched the video and I immediately texted you I was like Nikki did you is watch transgender yeah I was like what are you talking about where did you hear shocked this shocked me like completely <laughs> shocked me because I, I I never clocked it honestly. me either I've been watching her for a couple of years and never would have imagined uh, what's your fave matte lipstick? I don't love matte lipsticks anymore. Liquid lips, liquid lipsticks are not my favorite thing in the world anymore. I am obsessed, and I can't stop buying regular. Did you buy another one? Yeah, classic lipsticks. I wear these all the time. My favorite formula of these kind of lipsticks, to be completely honest, is from Maybelline. I love Maybelline and uh, Morphe. Those are my favorite ones. I have two favorite sets in my purse constantly. Honey and boy toy. And I mix them. They're amazing. 
I've been using um, Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Oh, a I love lot. that one. And then mm. I'll mix it with like another lippy, yeah. a liquid lippy. I just, I just haven't been into liquid lipsticks anymore. And it's mostly because I don't like that dry feeling on my lips anymore. I can't stand it. I just put a gloss on. Oh my god, gloss, yes. I'm obsessed with Lunar Beauty's Dream. Is this Dreamy? Yeah, Dreamy. It smells good, it feels good. Like, mm. This is so silky smooth and I'm obsessed with it. They don't even feel, you know that stereotypical lip gloss that is sticky, catches your, your hair, catches, whatever. This feels like lip oil. It is amazing, amazing, amazing. My favorite Jeffrey lip Star. gloss is Jeffree Star, yes. yes. It's really Listen, good too. The Legends Only is yes. everything. Yes. It's like a nude lip gloss. Best feeling ever. It's like a really nice, it feels like a really nice lip balm, honestly. It feels so good. Yeah. It's 18 bucks, like you can't beat it. That's about Manny's too. Manny's is like 17. How do we feel about Nate and Jeffree breaking up? Hurt my soul. Literally. I teared Mom up and Dad broke the up. video. I teared up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Because, I mean, he's a part of this star family. Like, he's right. been with us from the beginning. Right. And I'm just honest. I'm really sad that they broke up. But you know what? I'm glad they ended on good terms. Right, yeah. I'm glad they're still friends. Hopefully, no. fingers crossed, hopefully a later on in the future they can get back I together. think they, I hope they do. I feel like they're soulmates. I really they do. really are. And, you know, not everybody likes the spotlight. And right. Nathan probably just needs a break. I agree. I feel, you know, he, he wasn't into it, you know, before they got together, you know? Yeah. He's a very, like, down to earth. Um, I feel like he keeps Jeffrey humble. All right, now I'm going to throw on some lashes. This is from a brand that me and her both are affiliated with. This is the Kiss Me Now 60 Mink Lashes. They are in style so mate. These are my favorite lashes. Yes. They're beautiful. They're um, gorgeous. Life is just, it's, life is good when your lashes are on point. Where'd you get that from? The pack. <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing the lashes from Lush & Co. They're actually purple. Um, Lush & Co. is also a brand that me and Billy are both affiliated with. Um, these are from their, her Halloween collection. Um, she came out with um, our colored lashes and they were so cute. I still have them, I still use them. I think they're so cool. Make you a little different and edgy with a, like a, you know, like a neutral look. So that's what I'm doing today. We're using purple lashes. And they are also mink. Like they're so pretty and fluffy and I love them. So cute. And for lash glue, I use the Kiss Same. brand lash adhesive. It is with aloe. So let's put that on real quick. Your kids are I'm so sorry if you guys hear my kids in the background on this video. They're hellions, but I wouldn't do anything ever without them. I don't know what I was just doing about gotta do it. Just gotta just work just gotta do got. it. How can I cover up my dark circles? They are so bad. That's Girl, the one that you would be good at. I feel like, what are you saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying. You also have hereditary dark circles. I do. How do you cover yours? I use a shit ton of concealer. <laughs> 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 okay. I do though, seriously. I excuse me, I'm trying to play. Sorry, my that's my dog. If you guys see us talking to anything in the room, it's my dog. I got I will show you. I use a crap ton of concealer. I use um Elf sixteen hour camo concealer. Such a good concealer. So good. It's five bucks, six bucks at Walmart. Yeah. Really they good. recently just came out with um, a hydrating camo concealer. So those of you that that might be too dry for, they have a hydrating one now. So yes. and it's also just as good. I have it, but it's too dark for me right now because I'm super pale. My advice though for dark circles, um, if the concealer just doesn't feel like it's getting it done, use an orange or like a coral uh, color, color corrector. corrector. Yeah. yeah, I really actually like Elf's color correctors. I use them all the time on clients. Um, they're really good. They're like a little crayon stick, mm -hmm. and those are really good. You can use code Billy to save 10% off of your Kiss Me Now purchases. Katie with you can use my best friend's code, Katie with two E's. She only saves you 4%, though. That's a lie. You actually save more. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Answer that. If you could only wear one item of makeup every day, what would it be? Foundation. 
All right, we are moving on to foundation next. And I am using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Skin uh, Foundation. This is five bucks at Walmart. I'm like gonna use um, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I also am using the Juno sponge. I love these velvet sponges. They work so wonderful. I've been trying to get this one hooked on, but she don't like them. I mean, I don't know what it is about them. I, I, I'm used to a super wet sponge, and I feel like it doesn't stay wet. I'm using an Equate sponge, the Walmart brand. Get like me. Yes. Get like me. <laughs> oh my God, it's like barely any coverage but I kind of dig it. Beauty on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't bring myself to buy like spend $20 for an actual yeah. name brand beauty blender like what the fuck. I am using the L16 hour camo concealer. What shade is that? This is in shade medium sand. Um, I'm gonna use the um, Makeup Revolution conceal and hydrate. So for the person who was asking earlier how do I cover up my bags? Watch. <laughs> Don't be shy with the concealer at all. Okay, and I let it sit on there for a few seconds. Let it kind of set in, and then I'll blend it out. I feel like that gives it more coverage at least. And then I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder to set under my eyes. Same. What's your favorite indie brand? So, I have favorites for different things. Mm -hmm. So for lashes, obviously, I love Kiss Me Not Cosmetics. They have the best 60 mink lashes, and they last a really long time. Yeah. And they're pretty affordable. And they have Afterpay. Yes. Um, I also like Kiss Me Now. Like, their lashes are really bomb. But also love Lush & Co. They, um, they have really good lashes, too. If you're into a dramatic lash, she has you covered there. Yeah. Um, but also, she has, like more neutral or neutral more natural options um which i have been using a lot of and she also has the colored lashes which i think are really cool yeah um i'm always up for something that's different and that no one else is doing so that's also why i like lush and co so much also there's another brand uh that sells contacts sue look ah, yes we love sue look they are a really amazing brand um very affordable as well i get all my contacts from them I want to give just a huge shout out to them because I feel like Sue looks made my Halloween looks because really of the good. contacts. Yeah. Like, it really changes up everything when you use uh, some contacts. Mm -hmm. oh, it's the best. Yes, I agree. Use code Billy or Katie with two E's. Yes. God. What's your favorite show? You know, on Netflix, I really love Grace and Frankie. Uh-uh. Yeah, he loves that. Finished already. You I did? love. Oh my god! Like two days in, I finished it. I love you. I love you. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> no, I love the show. You too. I love that show. Me and Adam finished it really quick. Yeah. Um, I finished it maybe in three days. How to get away with murder? Shonda Rhimes is amazing when it comes to TV shows. Cause she also like wrote Grey's Anatomy, which I love. I'm not caught up on it. I love uh, The Walking Dead. Alright, so I will say for Walking Dead, I was attached for a good eight seasons. Yeah. There's nine seasons, right? Something like that. So, the last season, I quit watching like halfway because I was like, it's just not entertaining anymore. I'm bored. Yeah, I was so bored. Spoiler alert, after Rick died, I lost interest. Not that he was my favorite, but I just felt like everything just got boring after that, you know? He's the leader, like. Yeah, he was the leader. Um, I love Carol. I think she's a bad bitch. She is a bad bitch. So is Michonne. Yeah, Michonne is too. Mm -hmm. I just don't watch it anymore. I don't care. I'll go ahead and use the Pure Sculptor palette. I, this is my holy grail. It I love is. this. It, he loves that. I've been using this for over a year. Okay, what is your biggest fear? Um. Oh my god. Okay, the question is, work. what is your biggest fear? And um, my biggest fear is losing my family. I cannot fathom what it's like to lose your mother, lose your father, lose um, your husband, your kids. I don't understand how anyone can make it. Like I, that's 
that like scare just thinking about it scares me it makes me like a heart pound <laughs> i think my biggest fear is um just dying <laughs> no like my biggest fear would probably be like drowning i just don't want to suffocate when i die you know like i'd be happy dying in my sleep just death mm -hmm. in general i feel like would be what scares me most um not being able to have things done or maybe not being prepared to die right. or whatever right. like leaving things unfinished yeah that's what kind of scares me like i want to be old of course and just have done something have done life. everything and yeah you no know, that's why you know i have traveled a lot these past couple of years i've went to vegas and new york and pittsburgh like i've done a lot i love it but that's my fear drowning um dying in a fire can't do that mm. all right now i use some pretty vulgar bronzer what do you mm -hmm. use for bronzer i use mark jacobs uh tantastic yeah. Yeah. And for highlighter, I actually sprayed my face right after I done um, my bronzer and stuff. I used the Pixi um, Glow Mist. This has been like my favorite setting spray. I just got it in PR like um, a couple weeks ago uh, in like a favorites kit. Pixi sent me a box full of their um, favorite things from 2019. And this was in it and I understand why. It's so bomb. I want you to try it. I have tried some of their skincare that you've, that you've gotten from PR and I it's bomb. loved it. Yeah. Blew my mind. Next question. But I will definitely try that. It's so good. Oh, and for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is like 2 or $3 at Ulta. It's super bomb. Mm. Love it. Love it. Go ahead and do some blush. I'm using the Patrick Star X MAC Collab. This is an interesting question. What's your favorite scent? Ooh, um, well, I love fruity scents. I love... He does, yeah. Spices. Mm -hmm. uh, my home... Like, right now, I have the Much Heart Warmer. I have the... Um, I think it's orange, orange, dream sickle or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But it yeah. smells like fruit loops. Fruit loops and yeah. He's gotten Adam uh, stuck on my husband. He's gotten my husband stuck on that one. Um, so good. Every time we're out, he gets one of those tarts for our burner to have constantly on. And every time someone walks near like our room, it's like it smells like fruit loops. And I'm like, yeah, I know. It's I insane. Love it. Coming home and just smelling. Fruit Loops is it's just so good. But you can guess my favorite scent. Pumpkin, pumpkin spice. There, pumpkin. That's my favorite. I keep pumpkin stuff like fall leaf scent kind of uh, burning year round. I love a good like fall scent year round. But I also I like do too honestly. I like apple cinnamon a lot though. Too. Yeah, I like um that kind of scent like a like a warm homey kind of scent. But I also like a fresh scent like fresh laundry. Um, linen. like a clean, like, yeah, linen. Like that's, yeah. ugh, I love that so smell. Good. Are you more likely to avoid conflict or engage it head on? I like to avoid conflict as much as I possibly can. But yeah. if you say something that really would push my buttons, if you're coming after him, if you're coming after my kids, if you're coming after my mom, my husband, I will find you. She'll pop up. <laughs> that's something that sets me off to no end is my, my kids, my best friend, my mom, my husband. I cannot stand when someone comes after them. <clears throat> but any other thing, I just kind of let it roll off. Like, I don't care. I don't care enough to even engage. I used to be like that when I first started. I, you could tell me the smallest thing. Like, girl, you need to blend your nose a little bit more. And I'd be like, I hate you. Block. Like, <laughs> You know what I mean? But now I'm just like, okay, you know what? Now, on TikTok, I have noticed a lot of people talk smack about your nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Why? Like, I think that's fine. I used to hate my nose. My nose is actually you pretty crooked. I used to hate mine, too, but I just, you know what? I don't I care. I just deal with it. I don't care anymore. I don't care. Because mine has a bump in it. I just don't give a fuck anymore. I have a bump in my nose, too. But, and it's also, like, a little unproportionate, but who has the perfect nose? People who can afford plastic who, surgery. Who has the perfect anything? What is perfect? Everybody's idea of perfect is different, and okay. I, I don't care what you think is perfect. Great. The only thing that I have like ever been super insecure about is my lips, and I took care of that. I got lip filler. I'm eventually getting there. Like my lips are small. I'm not. If something's insecure about me, like uh, all month, like physically, I change it. That's on period. That's on period. <laughs> right, I'm gonna use the Pixie 
Golo Mist, Setting Spray. With Conflict, I... Do yeah, I would say the same. I, I try to avoid it as much as I can. Mm. Unless you... That's what people want. Unless you, like, verbally attack my mom. <laughs> we will come after you. I'll probably end up beating your ass. Or at right. least try to beat your ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll go down trying. Same. I am proudly full on mama's girl. I'm using the J Cat Beauty Highlighter in You Glow Girl Baked Highlighter. It's so good. White Goddess. This might be a little too fair for this one, but we'll try. Mm. Uh, I just queefed a little. Is it so bomb? That's beautiful. Yes. Here's a good one. If you could eliminate one weakness or limitation in your life, what would it be? My weakness would be, um, penis. <laughs> right. I just, I'm I think, think it's, of a weakness. It just gets me distracted a lot, you know? Mm hmm Like, if I could just be gay and you if still. I could just get rid of my hormones, you know, I'd be great. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, eliminate a weakness out of my life. I can't stop putting this highlighter on. <laughs> that's a weakness. Ah! Eliminate. God, that's pretty. It's so gorgeous. Okay, stop, Billy. Okay. What is my one weakness? Oh my god, shopping. Oh my god, yeah. Or eating. Eating. Oh my god. <laughs> Food. <laughs> Carbs. Carbs. <laughs> <laughs> they come for us. Yeah, they the do. The carbs do. Yeah, I'd say shopping. Like, that's, I have a real, like, a weakness. I will spend my last dollar on, m most of the time it's like my kids want a toy and I'm like, well that's all the money I have left. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll make another. Alright, my lippy that I use is uh, from Kiss Me Not Cosmetics in shade Dollop. Use Coat Billy. Alright, I'm going to put candy from a pharmacy in the middle of it. Finishing. Which store would you choose to max out your credit card at? Ulta. Really? Yeah. Ulta? If it comes to makeup, it would be Ulta. If it came to clothes, it would be probably Forever 21 or um, Fashion Nova. Ooh, Fashion Nova. I think I, for makeup, would be Ulta. Skincare, definitely Sephora. Morning person or a night owl? I'm a night owl for same. sure. Oh I'm up at like God. three in the morning doing makeup looks. Yeah, same. I love it. What's your strongest sense? Hearing, smell, like, I uh, have a really taste. strong nose. I have such a strong nose. I can smell something from such a like far distance. I can, I can, I can smell pretty good, but I think my taste is like, at some point, baby, that's why I'm fat. I just love food a lot. I, food I think I'm going to Wendy's after this. Oh my, <laughs> uh, my first tax paying job <laughs> was Sunoco at the gas station. Okay. That's my first point. tax paying job was Wendy's. <laughs> Figures. Yeah, it does. It, listen. listen, I got half off everything. It was great. <sighs> Literally, the only reason to work there, really. Right. I mean, really. Where's your Manny lip gloss? Oh my god, yes. Right there. Yeah, have some more. Do you ever want kids? I definitely do want kids. I want maybe twins or something. I just want a big I family. Kids. I want a big, big family. I didn't really have that growing up. Oh. So, it's what I want. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest and 1 being the lowest, how good of a kisser are you? I think I'm pretty great. I'm a great kisser. It's like a a nine and a half, I'd say. I don't know what a ten is like. You know, what's a good, what's a great kiss again? I don't know. I'd like to see. I have <laughs> actually broken off with guys because yes, they suck at kissing. Yes, or their breath reeks. Listen, it they wasn't a good kisser. I was like not interested. Like there would be so many times where we were and like hooking up was initiated, and I was like, mm. after like the kissing. Like, have you ever kissed somebody who has like toilet breath? <laughs> Listen, I went to Tulsa High School, and most of the boys had snuff breath. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, ma'am. That's the Not truth. Not today. 
<laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching our video, and yes. I'll put Katie's social media links down below. You can follow her. Even follow her on TikTok. Follow yeah. me on TikTok. Yeah, um, follow we're going to mix them after this. <laughs> yes. We can't make this makeup go to waste no, at all. Um, is there anything else you want to say? Uh, I'm happy to be here. Hopefully, if you guys want to see anything else from us together, make sure you leave it in the comment section. Yeah, let me know. Um, message us. Oh, we'd appreciate it in the comment section, though, so we can just come to one spot. Because that yeah. happens so much, doesn't it? It does, If yeah. we ask for something all over social media, we have to check all platforms that we're on. It's, oh, it's a mess. So if you guys want to see something else from me and Billy, make sure you leave it in the comments. And make sure you like and subscribe. Subscribe, please, to his channel. Send this video to your friends. This is a new channel. I'm trying to get it out there. Yes. Send it to your friends and he family. You deserves it. Stop. You deserve it. Oh, stop it. All right, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, y'all. Bye.